Hello, I'm Hebenezer. Uh, it's been a while and I want to say, how are you doing? Uh, we're still talking about our Excel tutorial and in this tutorial, I just want to show you how to rank in Excel. What does it mean to rank? Uh, in Excel, maybe you want to find, uh, you, or you want to know the highest number in a particular range of value in a data set or you want to know the lowest number in a data set or you want to find out Oh, if I have this set of number, what is the rank of a particular number out of the number set or data set? Uh, you know, in a family, uh, maybe in a family of 12, you can say uh, so, so, so person is, uh, is, is, is the firstborn or the first child. Uh, you want to know, oh, what, what is the uh, position of so, so, so person in this family, do you, do you understand? That is all about ranking. Yeah, I have this data set. If I want to know what is the rank of 21, 21 in this uh, data set, I can actually find out with the help of Excel. So that's what I mean by ranking. You don't know the rank of the number, but you want to know. You want to know if you arrange it from the, from the smallest to the biggest, uh, what number will rank the highest? What position will this number rank? What number will be the lowest and uh, that's what i want to share with you today and i have made a template uh for us that we're going to use uh the first one is how can you find the lowest number in the data set in the data set for instance to my left hand side i want to find the lowest number there you know i can be counting can counting although this might look to be a simple data set that you can actually use your eyes to do some counting but what if we have a very large number of numbers uh millions thousands of number sets and we that would be very tedious and i don't think it would be very too accurate or precise for you looking for the uh lowest number so exactly have a very good function that you can use to find the lowest number in a particular range of sets and how can you do that the first thing is type the where you want to see the results where you want to find with it the cell you want the result to show up to this is where i have the lowest i've titled it here so i want the answer to be here i'll say equals to min m high n min min stands for minimum minimum as in lowest so select your tab key and come and select the range and just hit enter Oh, our lowest number here is two and you can verify this here. So I want to find the highest number. How can I know the highest number? I'll still go to equals to, I'll say max. And my max, sorry, my max. Max is maximum as in the highest number. I'll hit my tab key. I'll still select the same range from the beginning to the end and I'll press enter. So our max, the highest number is 80 and the lowest number is two. All right. What if we want to rank any number here? We don't know. We don't know the position this number belongs to. All right. We don't know the position this number belongs to. Uh, fortunately, we now know that two is the lowest number. So if we have, if we have it in ascending order, we'll have it to be in number one position. That is, that is, if we have coming from the lowest to the highest, from one, two, three, four. Since this is the lowest, it will always rank number one. So what if we want to know? any other number here how are you going to do that we have a function called rank and you say this is how you call it equals rank the last one select tab so it's what number it will ask you the first argument or parameter that it will ask you is what number do you want to look for Let's start with 80 80 now you press the comma key then the reference, what is the ref your reference is the number set on which you want to find the number. What are the set of numbers? So these are set of numbers. So I'll hit the comma key. The last argument say, how do you want the number set to be arranged? Is it in ascending order from the smallest, which is these two, to 80, which is the highest. 80, that, that is 80 will be, the, uh, or two will be the first number and 80 will be the last and other numbers will be in between 2 to 80 or you want 80 to be the first and 2 to be the last so that's the ascending and descending if two if the number is starting counting from 2 to the highest number that is 80 is an ascending order but if you want it to be uh, to be from 80 to 2 that will be in descending order so how do you want it zero is for descending and one is for ascending so i'll say i want it in zero 
that is descending order. Sorry. And I'll press OK. So, if I rank in a descending order, I mean, uh, 80 will be number one. 80 will be number one because we are moving from 80 to 2. So, 80 will stand at the number one position and every other number uh, will be in between. So, that's the rank of 80 in this range if we go in a descending order. What if we want to look for another number, for instance, just say, let's say, equals to, I want to find this 60. What's the rank of 60 in this place? Sorry. Say, equals rank of 60 in this range of cell in an ascending order that is we'll start from 2 so I'll press enter so this is the position of 60 it will, it will be in the position 37th in the 37th position what if I want to check it in the descending order all I need to do is to con turn this one to zero and I'll press my enter key so it will be in position 6 that is when we start from 80 to the next number then going to 2 that is 2 will be the last number we'll have it in position 6 now a better example is this what if you want to find I just intentionally create this one in an ascending order just a series of, a, a series of number so I want to find a rank of any number here for instance I want to find the rank of 9 I'll say equals rank of 9 I'll select it in what range from here control shift arrow down you select all the all your range then in what are in what order in an ascending order press one and it will be ranking what number 12 in an ascending sorry one was not selected it was in zero so in an ascending order that is we have it in position nine the ninth position one two three three four five six seven eight nine you know it's nine so what if we have put it in the descending order that is starting from 20 19 and ending at one so let's change this to let's change this one to zero the last parameter there then let's hit our enter key it will rank 12 that is this will be 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 hope you get that it's very simple it's just calling up the function they'll supply the right arguments and let excel do the calculation for you and i hope you will enjoy it and what's the real life application of this oh you have a level you have some suppliers in, of your company you want to know uh who, who, who is supplying more quantity of items you want to know you have a, a, a series or a data of your employee you want to know who is any high what position this person is the is the any of this person you can always find out that and lots of that lot of that you have a list of students that just did their exam you want to find you want to use the average of every of a student or the percentage of a student to know who is who is the highest uh, who is the first who is in the first position the second position or the third position in your class it's always easy when you use ranking ranking to do that you know uh our max and mean will not help you find they will only help you to find the first and the second the first and the last position of your class but rank will allow you to find the first second third fourth fifth or seventh any person you want to find any position you want to find it can always help you <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that and you always practice with that. I'll see you later. Bye for now.